NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Santa Clara. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Receiver in motion left. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Room here to run. And he makes it all the way down to the 19. A big play there on the first play of the game. 62 yards on the ground. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Check right. Hey, check right. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Ready. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Ultra, ultra. Great, great. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Throwing his lance on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. In motion left goes Jennings. And they'll go for it. Lance. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. In motion left goes Jennings. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Second and goal from the one. Hut, hut. Little check. 
Lance going to sneak it. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there. And now it's third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive. But now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it. Because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Ready, go for it. McCaffrey. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. How about that stand defensively? The sticks were moving against them. First down after first down was being piled up. They had driven all the way down the field, and then they ran into a wall on third and goal. Nice job regrouping. Very impressive. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Tugger by Loa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 23. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Dancing to his left. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A Miami first down. That one going for a gain of 11. Looking to pass to him. And the Niners get there and bring him down. That's Drake Jackson burying him and finishing the play. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. Don't need it all back at once. But you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Tua. And going deep for Hill. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive.
Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 77 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Hey, hold you. First down, this is McCaffrey. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. three, three. the gun McCaffrey and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46 seven yards there and a first down and that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run and at that yardage gained they can run that plan any down And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. A good chunk on the ground, and the keeper, 17 yards, first down. McCaffrey running up the middle, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here we go. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. And now they'll throw with Lance. That's going to be caught. Touchdown 49ers. Debo Samuel, 27 yards. And the 49ers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent size deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Throwing on second and long. Tua. And they're going deep for Hill. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. 
They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. With that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Down. Green deck. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. To throw on second and six, Lance. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A Lance and Kittle in sync for the 49er first. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. now on first down he's got a man complete and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line a big play there for the Niners and even 50 yards a lot of running backs in the passing game they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes but this guy they use him to stretch the field don't they he stretched it right there turned it into a really nice game on first and ten, here's Lance escaping the pressure right. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Trey Lance, a 10-yard touchdown run. And they're able to add on to their advantage. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Here's Tua. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball in his hands a lot quicker. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Tua on fourth down. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Lance now on first down. This one caught by Kittle. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Trey Lance with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Niners will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first-half scores just like this one. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Flush to his right. To a hit, and the ball is out. And it won't count for six. He's brought down, but inside the five, first and goal at the four-yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown! George Kittle with a touchdown.
NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Santa Clara. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Here's second and five. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down, San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long yeah. afternoon. This is McCaffrey on the give. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen they can move the line of scrimmage. Second down, McCaffrey. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess hey, what? They also got the lead guy running it pretty well, too. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. 52 blaster. Tag it, tag it. The old blue. Tag. Here's Lance to throw it. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is caught inside the five. A big play there for the Niners. And even 40 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes the starch right out of them. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from a yard out. And the 49ers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. 
Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Well, this is going to be returned from the middle of the... Mostert hit, and he drops the ball. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. And in our meeting with the special teams coordinator, we asked him, what's your, what's your philosophy on bringing the ball out? Do you give him a red light? Do you keep him in? Green light, let him go? Uh, let, let's see if he changes from green light to red light after that costly error. Yeah, do you know what I remember from that meeting? He brought donuts. I like him. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Yeah. He, but he's not happy right now. No, don't tell everyone how many I had. <laughs> Lance getting this out wide to Ayuk. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Ready? They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. They had great starting right, position right. to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Hey, hey. In motion left goes Jennings. Hey. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Lance and company going on fourth down. Forced out to his left. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. And hindsight 2020, I think they probably should have gone for the field goal, right? The three points would look really good right now, but I think what we just saw there, analytics really starting to creep into the game because more and more teams are saying the more you go for it the better your odds of getting it the better your odds of scoring six points instead of three they took a chance there it just didn't pay off yeah right here the anti-analytics guys go thumbs up Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. It'll go down as a gain of six at its second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? Here we go. They Here catch we go. it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Here we go. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. They'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. 
Second down, here's Mostert again. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Couple of Alabama guys there, two at a Waddle for the Miami first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Back to the running game with Mostert. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Now Tua. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. From just shy of midfield, Tua. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. Ready. Two and a throw again. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the 49ers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Throwing on first down is Lance. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. It's caught inside the 25. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 36 yards on the play. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. To throw, it's Lance. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayu from 21 yards away. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20.
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. 30, 10, 5, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. set to get this drive underway the offense running out and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive and normally I've warned against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now this is a hungry group and they want to keep building off of their last drive now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work Field. Here's Lance. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now a timeout called for by the offense. Just their first in this half. We'll step aside and come right back. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Shotgun now for Lance. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Here we go. Here we From the 34 go. now, here's first and 10. After the turnover, it's Tua. Alluded to a hit, and the ball is out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Does the big boy have the juice? And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case... Ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. On the back. Red, yellow. Red, cycle. Following the fumble recovery, Lance. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. But these are the situations that really tested defense, those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. 
To throw once more on second and 10. Lance, he'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And he will have the first down at about the 21-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here we go. Watch it, six. On first down, Lance. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. From 21 yards away. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here we go, Pat. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. In motion, Hill. To throw again on second down. Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Now it's Tua. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Chavarius Ward. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. 
I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going, trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Throwing again on second and ten. Tua. And that is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Two will get a throw. Flushed out right. And the pressure gets there, and two is going to be taken down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked by Tarverius Moore. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys. But let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened. So a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Delance now to throw. There goes a deep ball in zone. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Danny Gray, 34 yards. And the Niners have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnover. is a turnover on the last drive. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. That one. Six yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And they'll get this down to the 42 yard line. Second down and three. Second down throw for Thompson. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. 
Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, they definitely figured out something defensively at halftime, Charles. That's now two drives and two interceptions here in this third quarter. And I think the easy thing for us to say is, boy, they made an adjustment, didn't they? Or they showed him something different. I'm not so sure it's that as much as maybe he's just been impatient and forced the ball a little bit. In any event, as you noted, back-to-back -back interceptions thrown. 55 rushing yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. McCaffrey on the counter. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And he is going to have a 49ers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Man, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Tackle made there by Eric Rowe. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Well, Lance's throw taken in by Samuel. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 24-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves his sticks. Lance now on first down. And he will find his man, Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers! Trey Lance finding Debo Samuel. And the 49ers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football this one. He certainly